Have you ever had something that you knew wasn't yours, but held onto it and enjoyed it while it lasted anyways? And then when it was time to give it back, you were sad because you got carried away and got too attached. Well, this week, we are looking at a few things we need to understand about the resources God has temporarily entrusted to us as members of his family here on earth. Now, imagine getting an invitation from Bill Gates or your favorite success hero to join an exclusive club with a long list of impressive benefits. Yeah, I did say imagine, and you probably agree with me that such a fantasy would only happen in our daydreams, right? Now, imagine being God's family member. Well, guess what? By accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you accept an invitation to be his brother, share the same father, and be a part of God's family. Good news is, this isn't just a daydream fantasy like the previous imagination. It is our reality as Christians. How do I know this? Well, the scripture says, For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. Isn't that great? Now, I believe we all know that God created everything, including you and me, right? Do you also realize that that makes him the owner of everything, literally? And so nothing you own is actually yours? Such a realization gives you a slightly different perception of your possessions, right? King David, despite being so fabulously rich, and even after amassing a tremendous amount of building materials for God's temple, He didn't glorify himself for his wealth or his great contribution to God's work, but rather acknowledged in his prayer that he was just given to God what was already his. It is very important for us to also remember that no matter how hard or diligently and honestly we have worked for the things we own, they are just borrowed and they are not really ours. Now that we have established that we are members of God's family and that our Father owns everything, let's talk about some of the resources that our Father lends to us from his inexhaustible treasury. First of all, God has blessed us with the gift of existence. And then he gives us material things to satisfy our physical needs and support his work. The tricky thing, however, is as the short-sighted beings that we are, We have the tendency to get too attached to these material gifts and try to hoard them. But these are things that moth and rust can destroy, or thieves can break into steel. But the good news is, as children of God, we have the privilege of laying up treasures for ourselves in heaven instant. Next, we are blessed with spiritual gifts in order to be a blessing to others. But the greatest of all the gifts that God gives his children is the gift of the promise of salvation. This is the foundational gift because without it, would the other gifts matter? No, because regardless of whatever we have now, one day we will be gone and it would all be for nothing. Therefore, we must always keep Christ and his sacrifice for our salvation at the center of all our thoughts. That said, we must remember that whatever material possessions, gifts, or talents we have been blessed with, we are indebted in every way to the giver in how we use those gifts. Now that we have talked about some of the perks of being in God's family, Let's talk about some of our responsibilities as members of this family. So when Jesus was asked what the greatest commandment was, he said, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. How do we do this? The simple answer is as 1 John 5 verse 3 says, For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. To some Christians, unfortunately, Obeying the law is legalism because we are simply called to love God and our neighbors. However, it is clear in scriptures that we reveal our love to God by obeying his commandments. So this week, we have explored what it should be like to be a part of God's family, specifically in the context of the privileges we enjoy as gifts from him 
how we are to see those gifts and our responsibilities as children of God. I hope this lesson is a blessing to you this coming week. Thank you.